I'm sure most fans have been wondering whether their faves are being sabotaged. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I will be talking about K-pop companies sabotaging their idols and groups. Let's get into it. First let's define sabotage and then differentiate it from mismanagement. Sabotage means intentionally destroying or damaging something or in the case a group of people career for their benefit. Mismanagement means poorly or badly controlling situations planning for a company or project. These two are not the same. A company can mismanage a group doesn't mean it's a sabotage and a company can sabotage their idols too. These two are not the same even though most fans interchange the two. Now why do some fans claim or say that their faves are being sabotaged? It could either be due to preferential differential against their faves or poor management where now fans have to come together to promote their faves projects be it solo or group activities. I do not need to mention companies and the groups to know who I'm referring to. Also if you want a more into detail video essay on how JYP failed GOT7 and how Kepler is being failed by their company, please let me know in the comment section. Allegedly there have been rumors of a particular company spreading rumors to the press sabotaging other groups to reduce the competition for their group. We won't be focusing on that. Now companies do not instantly sabotage their groups, they more like withdraw investments and promotions till the group disbands or members just quit. K-pop companies have one main aim which is to make profit, that's it. They are not in to make you happy sad, they will only care if there is money associated. So if a company realizes that a group is costing so much money but the return profit isn't so much, they tend to stop pushing that group. We've seen examples of how JYP treated GOT7 and started focusing more on its E twice in their newer groups. Or how YG forgot 21 for Blackpink. In K-pop, there are limits expiration dates. Boy groups will go into the military and female idols will get old. The company would want to maximize the time that they are still popular as once females get older. They lose their popularity and boy groups also lose popularity due to their members joining the military at different times and returning on different times. There is no guarantee that a group will remain successful. An example is how YG marketed Blackpink as the new and prettier version of 2 and E1. Now some companies do not manage some of their groups well enough when it comes to either promotions, music shows, interviews, quality of music etc. and it's seen by fans or stands as sabotage. Unless the company is honestly not in need of the money or they're extremely evil, I for one cannot see why a company will intentionally sabotage their money-making machines. There have been exceptions to this situation like the whole Chu situation. At the end of the day, there's one basic fact that we should understand as K-pop fans which is K-pop company's main concern is their profit or earnings since there's investments so if there's an idol or group that isn't earning much, they will slowly withdraw their investment and invest more in newer popular groups.